Well, this all began when Olivia was born, and she entered the world on her own time. Chrissy went into labor. We hurried to the hospital only for the doctor to tell us, she's not ready, you need to come back a little bit later. Well, I didn't realize it at the time, but that might be the first stage of Olivia's strong-willed personality to come. <laughs> You and I have talked about this day since we were little, what your dress was going to look like, what type of flowers you wanted. We much had our wedding mapped out on Pinterest. Growing up and still today, Olivia has been my biggest role model. Olivia has been a constant best friend since the day I was born, even though I stole her spotlight for a few years. I saw the undeniable connection and love you guys had for each other. But the thing that I appreciate most is, is that the way he treats my daughter with the great love and respect she deserves. So I can't imagine a couple more ready to move right and to share the, this journey with. I just, you're just perfect together. I love you both and look forward to sharing our lives, families, and memories for many years. We are gathered here in the sight of God and the presence of these witnesses to join Nathan and Olivia in holy matrimony. We do this and call it holy matrimony because marriage is instituted by God himself. A man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and they shall become one flesh. And now today, Nathan and Olivia have come to give themselves to each other in this time-honored tradition because God has given us this remarkable gift of each other. And now in the blink of an eye, here we are tonight. I've always been so proud to be your dad, and I'm amazed to see the smart, beautiful, and young, caring woman you've become. Thank you for being such a wonderful daughter. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. As an older brother, you watch your siblings follow just a few years behind you covering ground that you've really just been through yourself. So I've watched Nathan succeed. I've watched him work as hard as he can at something. I've watched him handle failure. And now seeing him get married is another good memory. Strangely enough, I can corroborate, I don't actually remember the first time I met Olivia because she's been around for so long as Nathan's friend. There is no Olivia without Nathan. Even though they were just friends like many have mentioned. For the majority of the time, they were actually dating. You've been my biggest supporter, the best shoulder to cry on, my partner in crime teaming up against them. You deserve all the happiness in the world. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or conceited or proud or easily provoked. Love does not keep a record of wrong. Love never gives up. So above all, learn to love and let love be the measure of your attitude and actions toward one another. I, Olivia, take you, Nathan, to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. According to God's holy laws. According to God's holy laws. And thereto I pledge you my faith. And thereto I pledge you my faith. I now pronounce that they are husband and wife together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. 
Those whom God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Nathan, you may kiss your bride. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege for the first time anywhere to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Nathan Daniel Hughes. One thing I think people take for granted about Nathan is, and often don't see is his compassion for others. But there might not be another person that would actually be there in any given moment when you need it. And with the amount of care that he can give. I'm truly so excited to officially be able to call you a brother. I know I never have to worry about my sister because she has you. You're her biggest supporter, her best friend, and other half. There's no one in this world that I'd rather share her with than you. To cheer her on when she is right and correct her when she's wrong. It's what she needs. Guys, I love you both endlessly, and I am so blessed to have you guys to look up to. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Hughes. I love you guys. Nathan, my hope is that you apply the same principles that have guided you in the past to your marriage, that you put in the appropriate amount of work, that you self-correct, and that you handle for those moments of failure. So I'm excited to welcome you as a sister, a daughter, and a wife into our family. We love you both. Here's to Nathan and Olivia. So happy we have the, another grand addition to our family, and I really hope the best for, for you guys going forward, creating more to the family, and cheers to Nathan and Olivia. We believe it is you who have brought Nathan and Olivia together in this moment and for this time. And now we pray as Jesus taught us to pray that your will will be done in their lives as it is in heaven. That your will will be done in their home, in their careers, in their family that is to come. That in every aspect of their lives they will be conscious of the fact that they were working out the will of God in their life. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.